Hey guys, this is Malingi. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malingi. So today I am here with Rapid Fire Question 5 and this is Rapid Fire Question Series for PhD entrance exams and interviews. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So today's question is, what is cryoprotectin and how does it work? What is cryoprotectin and how does it work? Okay, so cryoprotectant is a substance which protects cells from damage due to freezing because we freeze cells for the protection purpose and cryoprotectant is a substance that we use for this protection. Basically cryoprotectant protects the cells from damage due to the freezing because otherwise freezing does some harm on these. Now the example of such a cryoprotectant substance is DMSO. So please try to remember this thing. What is the uh, example of cryoprotectant? So say that DMSO is the cryoprotectant. Now in the absence of DMSO, so when DMSO is not available, then intracellular ice crystals form during freezing process that might rupture the cells. So suppose you don't add any DMSO, you don't add any cryoprotectant and you are freezing your cells. Then what will happen? Intracellular ice crystals will be formed because cells are full of water. We know cells are full of water. So those waters will form ice crystals inside the cells during the freezing process and those ice crystals will rupture the cells so cells will die now dmso reduces the freezing point of culture media and allows a slower cooling rate so basically dmso reduces the freezing point of culture media so your uh, freezing point of suppose the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius that we know now dmso basically reduces the freezing point that means it will be reduced so it it will it will go to the minus so the freezing point will go to the minus and it will allow a slower cooling rate because as the freezing point is reduced it will be the slower cooling rate now to protect the cell we need to dehydrate them so basically we need to dehydrate them to protect the cells and slow cooling is necessary to allow sufficient efflux of water from the cell into the culture medium so basically cells require to allow the efflux of water water need to be released from the cell into the culture medium because dehydration is required to protect the cell. Therefore, it minimizes the chance of intracellular crystal formation because if water content is high inside the cell, it will form the crystal, it will form the ice crystal. Therefore, we need to dehydrate the cells. We need to dehydrate the cell. So, water contents will be released from the cell. And that would be possible if we allow slower cooling rate. Because water molecule will get time to get released from the cell. And that is done by DMSO. Because DMSO reduces the freezing point. Therefore, it allows a slower cooling rate. 